Greetings, Bobby W6IWN here. Let's talk about the TID Radio TD H3 Plus. You're gonna ask yourself, well, what's the difference between the H3 Plus and then the original H3? So first off, for starters, and we'll look at all this closer here in a minute, but uh, they're saying the CPU speed is 30 megahertz for the clock and then one megabyte of storage on the original. The new one has been bumped up to 240 megahertz and 128 megabytes of storage. Uh, they both do have Bluetooth, except this new plus one. Uh, there's some accessories for it you can do as well. And I noticed under the Bluetooth menu, there's an emitter and transmitter uh, mode. So I'm wondering, can you link it to your phone with one of those Bluetooth apps for APRS and do APRS? We're going to have to find out. That may be in a later video. Let's jump onto the bench. We're gonna take a closer look at this and the accessories, because this thing actually comes with some different stuff also that the original one doesn't come out. We're gonna talk about the specs. We're gonna do a power test and uh, do some demos on some airband receive and the 220 because this is also a tri-band radio. So let's jump right to it. All right, it. normally I don't do this and especially first, but let's show you what's in the box because there's something different that comes with this TID radio. So we're gonna also talk about some of the features right now. It is Bluetooth, but not only Bluetooth programmable this time, it comes with a Bluetooth microphone that you can use with this. So there's this accessory that comes with the PTT button and this strap here. So you could potentially strap this to your steering wheel, kind of like the some of the DMR radios I know offer on uh, some of the other radios. You can PTT, have your, uh, your mic somewhere else uh, to control your radio. This would also be cool if you were in a motorcycle, maybe you had a headset or if you weren't on Vox, you could have maybe this like on your handlebar or something. So it does have Bluetooth transmit receive. I'm curious if you can use this with uh, one of the APRS apps on your phone and do APRS with it. I haven't uh, got that deep yet, but uh, fingers crossed that we'll be able to finally do that with this TID radio. Uh, but you do have the audio in and out. You also have the availability to program it with the Bluetooth uh, app from your phone, and I'll get into more detail on that in a minute. So you've got your power cord. Uh, this is USB-C charging, by the way. It does come with the battery, which is a 2,500 milliamp hour. So it comes with uh, just a little power brick for your USB-A to USB-C for charging that. There is another uh, USB, uh, maybe that's for programming. Then there is this. I'm wondering if this is really the extension they give you with the mic. Um, we're going to have to find out because if that's the case, if you did want to use this wired, that seems a, a little uh, on the short side. It comes with two lanyards. I'm assuming one is for this unit. This also comes with uh, a clip. I already clipped it on. I like this clip better because it just slides in. There's a tab. I think I can pop it out like that. I might need a screwdriver. But yeah, you just pop it in. The normal clip for the radio does have the screws. These are a little bit more difficult. It uh, goes on the battery. I mean, it's not that bad. You got to put it in spot, put in the screws, but sometimes you got to put a little pressure. No big deal. So in uh, the button thing comes this big manual. I'm going to have to give it to TID Radio or TID Radio, whatever you want to call them. They've stepped it up a notch with these manuals. There's a lot of step by step picture here. Let's get a little closer in here. They're going to give you a step by step picture. They also have their own YouTube channel with instructional videos on how to do all this. So I do notice there is this social media thing they added into OD Master. I'm gonna tell you right now, I think that's stupid. I personally hardly have enough time for Facebook and YouTube and all the other social medias. I'm not gonna get on their OD Master app and uh, chat it up with friends and have friends in groups or whatever. Uh, yeah, I'd rather talk to them on the radio, but if that is something you're interested in, they do have some new extra social media feature with it. I'm only interested in using it to program my re radio and the repeater, so there is uh, that new feature. So same with the TDH3 manual. 
That was something uh, cool I was checking out. So the, in the beginning, it's all your basic stuff. But it, once you get back here, let's see, where is it at? For setting up the OD Master, so using it with your phone. Uh, I also have a video on how to do this, but this will show you step by step. It tells you the websites, everything, and shows you all the menus, everything you need to go to step by step uh, for getting connected with this and connecting your Bluetooth uh, and the other accessories. So I do think that's cool. It even shows you the PC programming. Uh, you can also, this is their uh, PCS, but you can use Chirp. I personally use Chirp. So uh, the manual, I'm gonna have to give it to them. They stepped up on that. Okay, let's do a power test on this thing. So I have a 50 watt dummy load here. Uh, my SWR power test meter, and then of course the TID H. Okay, testing 146.52 high power. I think I saw 401 there for a second. So your average uh, HT, I mean, I'm, that's all I'm gonna expect with this battery in the small size radio, four watts, okay. Not too bad, that's your average. Uh, let's go to 70 centimeters, 446.0. Ooh, a little bit higher there. Four point, I think I saw 427 or so. Okay, let's take a look at the menus and also I'm gonna mention another feature. Why well, I have it right here, we'll listen to it for a second, is it does have AM airband receive that's what we're listening to right now i'm surprised i'm getting it this thing is laying flat on the table and i'm in a stucco building which is uh, pretty much a faraday cage so it does have the am radio as well so if you look here when you you turn up the volume so they did add that part i don't recall that on the other one so let's look at the menus and kind of show you what's different when you look at the menus now they broke it down and simplified it like some of the other radios rather than just having one just block of everything in one menu. So if this one would be your radio settings, so everything for your radio settings uh, would be under this menu. And while we're in here, let's jump to 38 and 39. So 38 and 39 are the great features. So if you can turn on your AM uh, modulation there for your AM receive. You can turn that on or off. This is also a tri-band. So for America, there's your 220 transmit. Uh, by default, it comes off. So if you turn that on, uh, you'll be able to do the 220. And I'll, I'll do a demonstration. Well, good afternoon, Florida. How are you? KC5CZX. The name here is Bob, Bravo Oscar Bravo, and I'm located in Port St. Lucie, Florida, which is on the Atlantic side of the peninsula, about halfway down, and we're keeping both eyes on that hurricane, Hurricane Erin. Uh, if you want to just program a channel, then, then there's program channel. All of the settings are going to be under that, so you can manually program it, and that makes it uh, a lot simpler. You have the radio info here, and that's just going to tell you your current firmware version and the radio ID and the hardware version as well. Uh, it looks like it tells you if it's in ham mode or GMRS mode. And by the way, these radios can be unlocked uh, for both. I do have a video on that. Okay, so the receive range on this is kind of iffy. I do punch in all the way down to 18 megahertz and then up to 600 megahertz. However, this doesn't have the hardware in this to handle that. Uh, I did do a test in the past where I put it, uh, my HF radio on 17 meters and I had a dummy load and I transmitted right next to the radio. It did kind of, uh, it, it did hear something on FM. But uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't rely on that. So you're gonna have your tri-band, you're going to have your 2 meters, your 70 centimeters, your 220. That's transmit and receive. And then you're going to have those basic uh, frequencies of the UHF, VHF on the receive on this thing. Uh, but the dials do show that it goes from 18 to 600. Okay, let's jump over to TID Radio's website and take a peek and see what they have to say. So this is their literature on the 
TDH3 plus. So it looks like eight bands, including air band, uh, on the receive for this wireless copy. So you can actually clone an H3 to an H3. If one's programmed, you can use the Bluetooth to clone an entire radio. I've done it before. It was actually pretty nifty. I did it for a guy at work. Um, your DTMF remote locking and call type USB C compatible with Bluetooth devices, global intercom via app. So that's, I think, where their app comes in. It's not just a social media. It looks like it's kind of like a, a Zello or whatever app where you can VoIP through that. Uh, kind of like DMR, but yeah, it's their own version. We'll see how that works out for them. Maybe it will work out. I'm just kind of doubting that it's going to play out, but we'll see. Wireless programming via PC website and phone app. So you can uh, use the Bluetooth with your computer. Uh, you can apparently they have a PC website programming. I have not experimented with that, but you can use the phone app. And if you're interested in how the OD master works, uh, I did post a link earlier up above, but I'll try to put it in the video description on how to use the app to program it from your phone that works on Android and iOS. Uh, you have your NOAA weather receive one radio three modes. I'm assuming that means FM, AM, and I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the CPU upgrade. So here is the original TDH3 here on the right. It looks like the CPU clock speed was at 30 whopping megahertz with one megabyte of storage. It looks like now on the new TDH3 Plus, it's gone up to 240 megahertz and 128 megabytes of storage. However, this radio seems to still have 199 channels. I'm assuming they used all of that memory for the new firmware. That would be pretty cool if maybe they saved a chunk of that memory and gave us some more channels. Uh, well, let's see, maybe they can do that in the future. Ooh, look at this, very cool. What's the difference? They're gonna tell you side by side. Uh, you can connect a Bluetooth headset PT button mic on the new one. Text message function SMS. I'm a, I'm not sure what that is. I'm assuming it has something to do with that app. Three display modes and 18 vibrant menu colors. Multi-language support. Okay, now it supports six languages. Edit channel name and prompt tone. Upgraded firmware on OD Master Web. Uh, eight band frequent re frequency receive. So it looks like it has the same receive as the other one. Uh, it's looking like the Bluetooth module is better. This one had the BLE 4.2. This has the 4. Point, excuse me, 5.1 plus BR, EDR, and BL. So yeah, it has that original mode as well. Uh, very cool, interesting. So yes, it supports the Bluetooth devices as we talked about. Your mobile mini repeater solution. I think that's what they're talking about. You can use that OD Master app to Use the GPS on your phone to look up repeaters that are near you and program them right to your radio. And I talk about that all in detail on the how to use the OD Master app if you're interested. 18 color modes. It looks like you can adjust your display and customize it. Oh, very cool. Um, SMS function. What do they say? Private messaging. Send instant text between, oh, apparently you can send a text between this radio and the other one. Uh, very interesting. I haven't heard of that. We'll have to try that out. I only have one plus radio, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate that for you. Anyhow, it has a 1.44 TFT true display, uh, the USB-C uh, 2500 milliamp hour battery. You can do two PTT buttons. Frog call transmit starts in. I'm not even sure what that is. If anyone knows, please comment below. Uh, we just pretty much spoke about much of this, but if you like more details, go to their website. If the TID TDH3 Plus is something you are interested in, I will post links below in the video description. And I wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch, and I hope to catch you on the next one. 7-3.